What is up YouTube? So on my channel I've been um, doing uh, fish tanks and um, I did one on how to restore the fish tank and I did another one on I forgot what but I did one um, but anyways so I've been restoring this fish tank for the last couple of videos and it's finally done like it's up it's running there's living animals in there and it's finally done so I'm gonna show you guys how we went from a really old tank to what I got now alright and it's a big upgrade a very big upgrade so I'll show you the tank in the next clip alright guys so here it is here's the tank I did a salt water so I went from fresh water to salt water. You can see that fish right there, that's a green chromis. You can see right there, that is a snowflake clownfish. Now, I am going to uh, switch the light so you guys can see different lighting. I got the blue light right now and it's kind of hard to see. Um, but I just love the way the blue light looks um, in person and stuff like that. So. But I'm going to switch the light so you guys can see the fish better. This is with the light off. You can see we got the clownfish and we got the green chromis. So and uh, down here we have some hermit crabs. There's probably some on the rocks too but those guys like to hide and eat all the stuff in the sand. So I'm going to turn the light on. Let's see if it helps. And boom. There you go. This is my saltwater tank and I'm really really proud of it and how far I've come and how much work it took and time and a lot of studying and research. That would be my best advice to anybody trying to get into this hobby and getting into this type of uh, tank is you need to do your research um, not only for the benefit of yourself and your enjoyment but the benefit of the fish you want the fish to thrive it's not just okay I did it and there we're done no you want to keep doing this and you want to keep learning and you want to keep growing as a hobbyist and also as a as a fish you know lover so do your research ask questions this hobby takes tons of patience and I mean tons of patience to get to where you want it to be. Um, I'm still not where I want to be. I'm going to add more fish. As of right now, I only have two. So I want to add another clownfish, of course, and some other type of fish. I want to add color. So I want to add a lot of color. I want to get some yellow fish, some green fish, some blue fish. I just want to add color to the tank. But at the same time, making sure that everything is right and that all the fish have a nice and happy healthy home to live in I'm not gonna overcrowd the tank I'm not gonna overstock the tank with a bunch of fish just because I want it to look nice obviously I want to benefit the fish as well so that's my tank guys um, it's pretty much all I have right now and I don't think I'll be doing corals that's a little advanced maybe in the future but not right now so this is my tank, got the dry rock, got the live sand, well it's live rock now. And uh, I got my light, got this light at Amazon. Dope light for a dope price. And I got my fish. Uh, that one is a green chromis and that's a clownfish. The green chromis, what's cool about it is if you look at it from up top, he's green. But when you look at him from the side, he's blue. It's something really, really dope about that fish like it has two colors basically just depending on your perspective so that's it right there we're gonna say bye to my clownfish he's saying bye to you guys too and the green chrome is coming to check out what's going on and yeah that's my tank it went from it went from being outside with dirty water and dirty things to this beautiful I don't even know what to call it but yeah it's dope it's cool it's in my living room people who have came and seen it they enjoy it salt water is definitely very rewarding at the end 
Just be patient though. All right, guys, if you have any questions, if you want to know where I got things, if you want to know the cheap way to do this, comment below. I will let you know. Okay. Not only did I spend a lot of time researching on the fish and stuff, I also spent a lot of time researching and checking out different stores and all that where you could find cheap things and how to get cheap things. So, all right, guys, see you next time. Maybe I'll do an update on when I get a new fish or something. All right. Peace.